what's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of an amazing series okay so far all the mods 9 has been in interesting to say the least. okay as you can see a lot has changed um so much that i have to go over so let's get ready to talk about it first things first i wound up upgrading my dank um i created three danks now and I've also upgraded them and I had been sifting and sifting and sifting since the last episode because we realized that we needed it so we can move forward. I've also upgraded these um, sieves from, uh, I believe we were on iron to gold and now it's to diamond. I've got one piece of netherite that I traded for uh, from DJ and them. So we did get that. Also see that I am need to breed these chickens. We've got plenty of sheep. We got plenty of cows and we got plenty of um, pigs, at least for the most part, which is not bad. I've also adjusted the shaders and brought the shaders more in line with what I want. Now, you guys can see I've made some gold um, pressure plates. That's because we're going to get to the point that uh, we were trying to get to before, but we needed Constantine and Envar, which I've already gone ahead and done. And to create that was a pain, um, to be honest. Also, I've upgraded this from just a from this oak drawer, which I should have left that as the original oak drawer, and I changed it to a two by two, and that was not a good idea. To a simple compacting drawer. So now we got 4.6 thousand cobblestone that we can get compacted into cobblestone 1x, which it will automatically do. But right now it's full. It's jammed up. I did not realize before that I had an upstairs. Um, I happened to come up here. So I've been keeping some extra extra stuff that we keep getting that just wasn't fitting. Um, we still need to work on our storage uh, in its entirety. And as you guys know, I'm not that great with it. We've also got infused alloy that I have made. I might actually just chuck a, chuck a bit more in there. So we miss more infused alloy. I have created a flux hammer. Flux hammer has been flux hammering and has created not the emerald or the coal, but it's created the crushed deep slate, the gravel, the sand, and all that. So that's what that, this was all set up. It took ages for that to do. I've also got the enrichment chamber, which has been doing ore doubling. And then of course, one blast furnace and one furnace. We're gonna probably create like more furnaces in time because waiting for these things to smell sometimes will take too long. But that's not what we're here for. Today, we're here to talk about the igneous extruder, which we needed a Constantin gear, which I realized we needed a iron nugget for. So just go ahead and create two of those. So this is a very simple one. Now, if we can get this right, we can get um, a bunch of the items that we need, like um, netherrack. And netherrack will kind of go towards something else. Now, I've already started some of this. We've already got the redstone servo, a piston. Um, I got archwood planks. Um, we've got more diamonds because you guys would be surprised. Uh, sifting as much as I did, I wound up unintentionally rich so we'll create uh you know we'll create four constantan gears and we've got glass somewhere around here. and if not we can easily just create it i definitely feel like we have glass at least we should have it. should we don't well that's disappointing okay well it's not too hard to get sand and just smelt it. So we'll just go ahead and quickly smelt two. Close this door before the wandering trader walks in here. Excuse me, I actually, uh, I just burped. <laughs> yeah, got glass and come on, finish up the last glass, please. I, I've got, I got people, people are watching. I, I should have been a little bit more prepared. Make me a little jealous and nervous. Um, so the igneous extractor and the invar, and all I need now is the redstone servo. And now we should be able to oh, end the piston, which was already in my bag. Now we should be able to make the, um, the in igneous extruder and we did it. Now I don't know if this actually needs, uh, power, but we put this heat. We're actually going to put this. Um, elsewhere. Note to self, guys. Don't let your danks grab all your stuff. So we're going to put that there. Then I'm going to grab some more 
uh, pressure plates from the gold, which I made a few extra. And it's going to be much like the same. So one there, one not there. Let's just break that. Guys, we're, we're destroying all the uh, beautifulness that is this uh, area. And I, I'm sorry. Back, back down. Should be able to put our pressure plates on it now. So now that we've done that, we take lava, which I've, I'm going to put over here because it seems like this is a, probably a better idea. Uh, although it's next to the sugar cane. Let's we'll see if it catches the sugar cane on fire. And then, since we actually have an extra um, bucket full of this outside, which water? Now that that's working, I guess. Hmm. Gonna probably love in which water? Gotta work, right? Oh, I'm not smart. I didn't need a bucket of it. I got, uh, there's another person on the server, by the way. Lily. We've got a small issue. I thought the extruder was going to work immediately. Does it need potentially power? No, because if it needed power, we would be facing another problem. Oh, you know what? It's probably not facing the right way. I know these type of items, they are very particular about how they're oriented. So maybe lava? Lava, uh, put the witch water there, and the lava there. Not working. It is not working. Oh man. Does it need like a lever? Uh, hold please while I figure this out. You know? I thought there was a block underneath. The reward is a piece of netherrack. So if that's the case, if I put netherrack underneath this. Ah. Yep. Yep. There there had to be a block underneath it. the lever it'll work no. it needs a it needs a lever no big deal which means we can also re replace the dirt and hope that people are not mad at the fact that i've completely destroyed this whole entire area and all this natural beauty this was bound to happen to me i always break things um pretty badly so we're getting netherrack and then we can get this um, crushed. We can get crushed netherrack. We can crush it and go from there. I'm going to go grab the storage drawer. I'm going to grab a one, a one by one. Put this on top. Put it on top. No. Doesn't seem like it's going to out. Not gonna help, but now oh, that sucks. Unless put this yeah, you know what? This is fine. This this is working as intended right now, and 
the more netherrack we get the better so we can only get a maximum of um 64. not bad we'll let that kind of run for a second and look through the rest of the quest here so as you get the extruder you can get ice snowball and water in a barrel alternatively you can use the easiest method which is to pump water into atomizer for h2o and then use a compactor or go through a little bit of botania you know what? i'm good on that time to use our power so i'm a applied energistics type guy so an me controller requires flux crystals which oh in world transformation Charge Sirtis, we still need nether quartz. Okay. We need nether quartz. Fluix dust. Wait, do Flux crystals make Fluix dust? Because if they make Fluix dust, is there a way to one, is there a way to do this one-to-one? -one? Gotta be a way. No, they've prevented me from cheating my way through that but i do like this so it's the me system of dreams and then we need to make an inscriber which then will require a printed engineering circuit printed silicon which i'm gonna make this uh inscriber silicon although a universal press could work that requires uh, sky steel ingots. Charge third is iron and sky stone. Oh. We've got our work cut out for us, don't I? Okay. I did, I could create like a flux uh, sieve, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to. Yet. Demon's dream seed. I'm gonna mill some dirt and break grass to get these seeds. Could do that. I've already done the moss block. Just working my way through this is gonna make me insanely overpowered. Got it. A flux compactor would actually be a good idea. Uh, I'm looking through this and my eyes are getting big. Very simple. Let's go ahead and get to work on the food aspect of things. We've already created our shears, already got the cows. Now we just need to grab some cows and some bucket. We'll grab this out. Now, <laughs> as soon as I sheared this, uh, the sheep. So that should have completed this one. And then Mary, who's had a little, a little lamb whose fleece was white as rainbow. Got two. Need one more. I believe that is everything that we need. Yep. That one is done. And then as far as the chicken, um, we need ten feathers and three raw chicken. Which will be need to breed. I can get more chicken. Then we can, uh, pull the chicken. It's gonna go ahead and just make you grow a little bit faster. Got it down to a minute, and then it'll grow up. Cool. Okay, we are moving pretty well. I made a slime. I forgot that you can even do that. We've got slime. Don't know exactly where. Let's see, you're getting started. Slime. Yep. Adding milk to water in a barrel. Why did I wait so long to do that? Soul sand. Using bulk haunting from create, you can convert sand to soul sand. Okay. I'm not doing the create mode. We're, we are not doing create. Lily's got a squeezer. 
mystical agriculture is a possibility. So, skystone, skystone blocks, skystone in general, the skystone dust, smelted. Oh, we've got plenty of skystone. Hold up now. Wait a minute. In one of these danks, I should have skystone laying around. And if not, I'm going to be sad. There it is. There's a skystone. We're gonna need a lot more furnaces. Yep. We're, we're gonna have to get to work. Eight and 16. Then I think a wall of furnaces outside would be a good idea. Maybe. Hmm. What would make sense? I really want to put this inside. I also don't want to destroy the natural uh, wall that is the smooth sandstone. But then again, I don't need to. Let me think about this and get back to y'all. Okay, so I finally settled on what I wanted for my furnaces. I put them outside because I feel like this is just better for them to be out here, especially in the cities. I've also already sieved some of the uh, wreck that I got. Wasn't much there, to say the least, but we are generating more, we're generating a lot of skies. And that is the important. Uh, we've also got a bunch of blaze powder, eight eggs, and I'm really seeing too, too much. So now that we're rocking and rolling, we're rocking and rolling. I think we'll... Also, because it's raining, let's take a, metal, a bucket do this. I now have slime. This is going to be my slime farm too now. Go figure. I, I have cows and the cows are putting in the work. Now that we've done that, we have more slime. We can now create a few other We need to get back to get back on task. We're off task. As you guys know how I get, I, I squirrel out. So applied energistic ME controller is what we need to worry about making next, which would require us to make fluix crystals, which then needs an in-world transformation. It's either water, certus, and nether quartz. That's what I need. I need nether quartz. That's why I need the nether wreck. Nether wreck is nether quartz and we got 14 of them oh my god we got the nether we got the nether quartz now we should have fluids not fluids we need um certus so i got certus quartz here charged one another one there's a few more got first quartz dust which if we dust not full grown okay leaving huge pressure 
we can use the dust to create storage components. So it's not the end of the world for the dust. Let's make tiny PNC. Let's make quartz glass. So I guess we should probably get back to making sand. Or at least using sand to turn into glass. I'm not sure if there's any way for the blast furnace to make this third quartz dust anything. Turns it into silicon. I stand corrected. So we'll turn this into silicon. Once we turn this into silicon, we'll be able to continue to move forward. The plan is to try to get, I'm not gonna say like the ME controller, because I don't know if this would be possible, but charge Sturdis, redstone, and nether quartz. And water. Or witch water. So, charge Sturdis. Redstone, that. Did it run out? It did. Okay. Redstone. And then charge some service. Maybe it's one at a time. Okay. It's not because this is the wrong process to do this. Grab this. Wait, I have water here. Second verse, same as the first. Charge Cordis, Redstone, and then Cordis. Okay, I made it. Whew. That was not easy. So, gotta keep doing, gotta do this again a few more times, and then we'll have everything we need. So, I guess I couldn't just bundle them all together. It would have been nice, but. Nice doesn't work. Okay. We'll end up making some blue crystals. And with these blue crystals, we should be able to begin. So we need sky stone block. So we now need to take the smelt of sky stone and then smelt that. So you guys keep this in mind. You max your, your, your returns here. I shouldn't have done that. We got we got this running in a process that I think actually um, works out. So score one for me. Go ahead and convert all that. Should be pretty decent. Okay. Grab some sky stone block that we've been kind of puppy guarding. Not a lot. It's not a lot we're gonna grab. Now that we got this in our hands, what we do is we come over here, look at the ME controller, and then remember, we still haven't made the inscriber. That's not too hard. All we gotta do is just make another piston and we've got the slime to I now just need iron that. where do we put the iron 
How did the iron outside? Wait, did I put it in one of my dank? Here. Ah, there it is. It's in that one. I was about to say. Iron. And last but not least, we just need wood, which I'll just convert some logs into that. So that should be enough to create the piston. We're missing cobbles now. Got enough cobblestone now. Now we need to make two pistons. And then turn them into two sticky pistons. And just like that, we now should have almost everything. We grab one piece of copper to create the inscriber. Okay, we got the inscriber. Now we just got a, we got silicon paint, uh, working behind me. We now need an engineering circuit. And in order to craft that, you apparently need different things. Villager trade. Level four, 10 emeralds. Tier three. Silicon press too. Crafting presses are obtained by breaking a mysterious cube. Center of meteorites. Really? Oh boy. We're gonna do it via vill villager trades. Oh man. Why is it always this hard for me to get one simple thing? I just want one thing. Is it this hard to ask for me to be able to just get got to be either a villager trade or in a mysterious queue. like all of this is going to they said they say that this is easier in the guide and then they give you mystical agriculture to well i guess that means we're gonna start mystical agriculture exactly what i'm thinking that's gonna mean Pack creators, with all due respect, if you ever watch this video, you're despicable. <laughs> Just despicable. Going down the line, and this is what how I get treated. Created an inscriber essentially for nothing. We still got our work cut out for us, don't we? If you like today's video, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. We made one part of it. Now we've got a lot more to go. Easy, everybody.